Welcome back to Home Theater Gurus. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about Atmos speakers. And not just any Atmos speakers, the best option there is, which is bookshelves being used for your top front and your top rear. Top middle if you have the room. And most of the times when they're installed, they're installed wrong. And we're gonna talk about why and we're gonna talk about how to install them properly. It's actually really easy to do. So I'm gonna walk over there and we're gonna talk about speaker dispersion really, really quick, make it really simple to understand on this main over here. Now I've got the ISO on the camera turned, cranked up kind of high because we need to be able to see the speakers in the ceiling. So when I step back there, chances are I'm gonna be a little washed out, maybe a little too white. But anyway, so just bear with me. Okay, so we've got a top front right there. We've got another one over here. Now I still have panels to put up there that are gonna be acoustic panels, like a big speaker grill that's gonna cover those holes. So you won't see those later. But the speakers have a tweeter and a woofer. Much like this here, which of course, this is a Triad Gold the big daddy. You know, it's a three-way speaker with a mid-range, but it's still the same principle. And the principle is wide dispersion. My mic's hung up here. So anytime we have vertical drivers that are stacked, woof or tweeter, you know, in that alignment or a mid-range thrown in there, we can have a very wide dispersion. We want our sound or our seats to be in that wide dispersion, okay? And that wide dispersion goes this way. Okay, horizontal, it's a wide horizontal dispersion. It's actually called horizontal dispersion. But anyway, that's what needs to be spewed across our seats. Okay, for all of our speakers, all the speakers on the bed layer, they're easy. You know, the speakers and seats are on the same plane. But, you know, our vertical dispersion is much more limited. You know, so here we may have great sound or we do have great sound. You know, even, you know, 70 degrees off axis, you're still gonna have good sound but vertically things are gonna be a lot different. So if you think about right here on axis at zero degrees, we're the same distance from all these drivers. Okay, as we get say 20 degrees with the triads, they're very well designed. We're still gonna have a good response, but at some point, maybe 30, 35 degrees off axis, all of a sudden you're gonna start getting nulls. Now you're gonna start seeing issues before they just turn into a complete null. So at 20, 30 degrees, you'll start seeing some dips and stuff as you start getting off axis of those drivers. But the thing is the vertical window of good sound is small. The, the horizontal is nice and wide. So we need to make sure our seats are in that horizontal dispersion pattern. Now this is also why horizontal centers have a, get a bad rap because they have issues, some at 25, some at 30, but it's, it's because of the relationship or the distance you are from the drivers as you move, you know, along, you know, vertically stacked speakers, or if they're a horizontal center, you know, you're moving left and right, you're different distances from this driver as you are from this driver, you know, as you move. And that's where the problem happens. All speakers are designed on axis. You know, they look at the off axis too and make sure that's, or they should be looking at it, depends on what manufacturer you are. Some of them don't seem to care much, probably know who I'm talking about, but uh, anyway, so that's our issue that we have to deal with. Let's take a look at our Atmos speakers up here. We're gonna talk about them. Now I'm gonna get out of the camera. I might be able to get into the window of the camera here. Let's see. All right, so there's our two speakers, our top fronts. Dolby specs, if you look in the installation PDF that we go over in episode one and three, the Atmos channel should have the same frequency response and basically the behavior of you know the bed layer speakers. Ideally the same speakers, and that's what we have here. So you're not gonna get any better sound in the room than this. I mean, you could have an in ceiling you know, uh, a coax or something like that, even on an angle, still not gonna be as good as this. This is actually an exact match to our wides, our, in our surrounds, in our rears. All the other speakers, they're the exact same drivers as that one right there. Even our top Atmos, which are the Triad Sat9, which is a coax, it actually has the same drivers as well, so that's as close you're gonna get. That's why it's such an amazing and ceiling speaker. But uh, for top front and top rear, that's as good as you're gonna get, no matter what line you have. If you can pull that off, you know, especially hidden like these are gonna be hidden, that's the way to go. But we need to get the wide horizontal dispersion to spew across the seating area. Now you may think that's very easy to do, but I'm telling you right now, it's a lot harder than you think. You cannot do this with your eyeball. You just can't. I've tried, I can get close, but I'm always off. And what I mean by that, if I throw it up there, and I put it where it th I think it should be to have it tilted perfectly and the horizontal dispersion perfectly across the seats. When I actually verify it with the method of fiction to show you, it's off. All right, so what we've got to do is we've got to think 
like on the, a plane, a level plane like a horizon. Right. So our mains are on one plane, right? As we come up to our tops, which may be at 45 degrees, they may be at 50 degrees, but you have to envision your horizon is shifting up in your seat as you recline. So now we need those to be on the same plane. They still need to be you know, with our seats. The plane has shifted up. Now you're gonna have those guys that are gonna be in the camp. Well, you know, they're just Atmos, that any old thing you throw up there, as long as you get sound, you're doing good. You know, if you've seen the video on DSU and up mixing, you know how active those speakers are when you're using up mixing. You know, when we're up mixing, we're not at the mercy of the studio. And they can be extremely active. And a lot of times when people aren't blowing away, it's because they're making the errors like this. Their setup issues, you know, it's Atmos is awesome when done right. So how do you set those up right? You know, I've already said, I can't even really do it by eye. I can get down here at head level and I can try to pretend, you know, get my horizon and line them up perfectly to get, you know, the uh, horizontal dispersion across the seats. Well, the only way I've found is with a laser level. Okay, I've got this baby here. Now it's dirty because I'm rebuilding the house. So, I mean, it's it's been through it. But this right here works wonders and is amazingly easy to set those speakers up. And I'm telling you, they're not gonna be anywhere near where you think they will. If you try to eyeball it, then you come back behind yourself with this, you're not gonna be close. So I've already adjusted these and I'm gonna kinda dim the lights, I guess. Hopefully we can, y'all can see this. I only have one seat in here right now because the carpet was supposed to be changed out this week. Yeah, because the carpet sucks, I'm horrible at choosing carpet. So we have a replacement and of course, it was the wrong carpet. So they're having a reorder. We moved everything out and I just put one seat in here so I could use the room if I need to. But normally I'll have two seats and I'll recline the seats. Let's go ahead and I'll show y'all what I'm gonna do. So normally, you know, I'll have the seats reclined and I'll stick this right between the seats, okay? And then I'll angle it up to my speakers. Now there's a setting on here that locks it. It's trying to auto level right now. So it's flashing because it's not happy with me. So I need to get this laser level I'll push it into the seat cushions or whatever I have to do to kind of hold it into the seat so I can get up there and work. And you've got to adjust it so it's going from one speaker to the other and it gives you a parallel line. And then you'll line those speakers up like at the bottom of the cabinet or you know that's a, a great thing to use because it's parallel. Get it parallel to your laser line on both sides and now you know that your speakers are on the same plane as your head. And now you know that vertical or that I'm sorry the horizontal dispersion is perfectly aligned with your seats. And now you still need to tow them in, which can be a little bit of a pain because you're gonna tow them in and then you're gonna have to readjust it to get it back onto the laser line. But once you're done, those two speakers are going to be tweaked and set up just as good as your mains are. And so they're not gonna take a back seat. You're gonna get amazing sound just from them. I mean, you could actually listen to two channel from those two speakers and you would have an incredible phantom image, a nice wide sound stage. So you're making sure that every speaker in this room is set up to perfection. So in case you've noticed, yes, I'm wearing the same clothes I was in the last video and actually the video with the seats two, two videos ago. I shot three videos today. I finally had the house to myself. So that's why I'm wearing the same clothes. I did change my hat so y'all wouldn't think I was a total loser, you know, so I, I put a new sock hat on, Got, you know, so I kind of changed a little bit. If you want to learn more about home theater, don't want to miss any tips, hit that notification bell first subscribe, then hit the notification bell. Give this video a like and uh, yeah, leave some uh, comments down there, whatever you want to see next. I've got a big list of stuff I'm going to be doing, you know, now that we're finally getting in the house and we're, we have a place where I can film again. Uh, I'm kind of excited to get that back on the ball, you know, get back on the, get rolling again with the videos. So uh, I've got a compilation of videos I'm going to be doing, just stuff if you want to add to them let me know. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see y'all next time. And guys, like I said, I'm changing the carpet in case you're not aware. Let me show you this carpet. So this is kind of what it looked like. I thought it was going to look like, actually, I thought it'd be a little darker, but see that pattern? You know, it's kind of a cool pattern. I kind of like it. I suck at choosing carpet, but let's I'm gonna walk over here. I'm actually going to put it at the ceiling. I don't want to scare y'all, but boom. Oh, look at, look at that mess. I mean, what a turd bucket. This is, it's horrible. This, this carpet is, I mean, what is that? Is that, I'm not even sure that's carpet. Me and a friend of mine, we're, we really think this might be possessed carpet. Tried to get it changed and of course it came in, it was the wrong carpet. So maybe there's some voodoo going on and this carpet just doesn't, it wants to be here. We may have to burn the carpet and uh, sacrifice some 
chickens or something. I don't know. 